Take a shiny object. Breathe on it. It's time for another two minute tech tip. Hello, my name is Anam Bean and today I would like to implement a web standard web component without any dependencies and connect it to already existing Java 8 cloud native thin war backend without any dependencies as well. First, let's check whether it actually works and try it out, execute. I got the response here with some additional course headers. So it looks good. Now switch to the development environment and now go ahead with the component. So the component is going to be a class with the name, of course, uh, ground breakers. And the uh, class extends HTML element and uh, connected callback is called at the initialization time. So let's go with that. And uh, I would also would like to have a method with the name load. And this method is going to be async. But um, not to forget, we will have um, registered the component with the name, let's go with GB and ground breakers. So it looks good. Now I would like to call this here load. And then what I do here first. I would like to call fetch and say I need a request and I would like to wait until fetch completes and the URI is HTTP slash slash localhost uh, 9080 slash micro resources uh, pink. Okay. Then I need the payload as well. So payload and the payload. Uh, is extracted from the request and this is JSON and then I need both I think this was name and age so name age of the pink and this is from the payload and then I can say this in a text in a text is good enough equals backticks is the uh, template ES6 template and I can say I would like to have the name and the name points to the age so, almost done. We only have to use it. And let's go with that. With that and see GB, what was the tag name? GB, GB, and it works. Was that a good tip? That's right. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.